Of course, those sceptical of Elon Musk and his trail of false promises, such as never getting around to making Cybertrucks, reaching half a million vehicle production rate by 2020, landing reusable rockets. Sure, all these things accidentally came true, but Tesla bots? There's no way on Mars these things will ever reach mass production. Or as usual, are most people underestimating just what Elon and Tesla are capable of? I think so, and in this video, I'll tell you why. Tesla have just released a video of their Tesla bot, also known as Optimus, and I think it's fair to say he's come on a long way since being awkwardly wheeled off stage during Tesla's AI day back in 2021. Optimus is now capable of self-calibrating its own arms and legs. Using only vision and joint position encoders, it can precisely locate its limbs in space. If you've ever watched a baby suddenly realise its hand belongs to them, well that's what Optimus now understands. Accurately calibrated, Optimus learns various tasks more efficiently. It can be trained to conduct new tasks autonomously. It can do this because its neural network is trained fully end-to-end. -end. Video in, controls out. Just like Tesla's full self-driving version 12, feed it a ton of video training data and it will be able to learn what to do and carry out the task accordingly. Optimus also demonstrates autonomous corrective action capabilities, and yet I know I'm punching way above my weight with that sentence. But what that means is it can sort through these blocks by colour fully autonomously, and it does so while dealing with the dynamic reality of our real world. From this chap interfering with the blocks, Optimus still understands the task it needs to carry out and adapts its plans of how to do so. Although you do still get the feeling that Optimus could just punch this guy in the face for annoying him. <laughs> I know, that's irrational, it's not capable of emotions. We hope. Without being able to adapt to the real world or understanding edge case scenarios, robots or autonomous vehicles end up doing this. Chaos, panic, not knowing what to do, and do require human intervention somehow. Not ideal if you are one day dealing with thousands of factory robots that have stopped working due to someone leaving a traffic cone in the way, I don't know, or some other random edge case scenario. Autonomous robots will have to manage and deal with the strangeness of the real world. And as Ashok Elizwami notes on X, these robots do use additional sensing such as audio, proprioperception, temperature, etc. Proprioperception, by the way, is the awareness of the position and movement of the body. And yes, I had to Google it. But no LiDAR, radar, ultrasonics, HD maps shenanigans. It will become so obvious over the coming years, we'll be wondering why anyone thought those were a great idea. Fair warning to other companies still determined to overload on using unnecessary sensors. Two cameras and a brain works pretty well for navigating the world, eh? Optimus can be prompted to carry out a task. It is not coded or pre-programmed to do this, which is the uniqueness of Tesla's breakthrough here. The only scalable solution for autonomous cars is coming from Tesla. The only scalable solution for building useful robots is also coming from Tesla. Not just from their technical and software advantage, but ability to scale manufacturing to ludicrous levels too. But just to prove it's a thoughtful kind robot that won't go on a murderous rampage, thankfully it does yoga. I mean, this is a mightily impressive leap forward. And if you think this move is easy to pull off, pause the video and have a go yourself. I remember learning this move from my Wii Fit days. And just look at the dexterity of its hands now. This is one very delicate, carefully grippable hand. And I know what you're thinking, yes it'll be able to do that someday. Because nobody likes doing their own washing up, do they? What were you thinking? Filthy. Oh mate, take them away! So a two-year-old Optimus can now unsort blocks almost as well as a two-year-old human. With its full self-walking visual capabilities of navigating its surroundings, its already impressive dexterity that will allow it to carry out mechanical tasks, plus it's now learning how to do things from video training data, as in show it a load of videos on how to do something and hey presto, does it itself. This really is a moment in history. Video in, controls out. A phrase I learned not too long ago, but think I now just about understand it. Video training data is training Teslabot's neural nets. This is not just another pre-programmed robot carrying out commands. Tesla has created an AI capable of learning how to carry out tasks. I cannot wait to see the improvements to come. And of course, things will progress far quicker than most human endeavours because it's Tesla, where the speed of progress is quite frankly ridiculously quick compared to cumbersome legacy automakers or any other company for that matter. See NASA or Apple for companies which were once at the forefront of speedy innovation. I'm going to get in trouble for that one, aren't I? Oh well. 
Remember, just like manufacturing their cars, vertical integration means that Tesla can make all components of Optimus in-house, such as these actuators, which is a device which causes something to happen, like make a robot part actually move. Plus Tesla obviously makes the very software that runs it. So judging by the present rate of improvement, it looks to me that we can expect roughly a 420% improvement every six months or so. I know this sounds nuts, but Tesla bots could be working on production lines in Tesla factories as soon as next year. Yeah, I hear these words I'm saying too. Let's find out if I'm crazy together by liking and subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications of new videos from me. It really does help my little channel grow, so a sincere thank you. I guess a lot of people are wondering what all the fuss is about. I mean, we've all seen Asimo, right? Remember this little fella? It made its last active appearance in March 2022, over 20 years after its debut, as Honda announced that they are retiring the robot to concentrate on remote-controlled avatar-style robot technology. Hmm. You might have thought as I did 20 years ago that robots might be a little bit more useful by now, but who'd have thought it, robots, or more specifically useful robots, are a difficult problem to solve. Alors Pierre Patrick, c'est une première stress matin, euh, c'est la 2. Deux... Oui, ah. Ah. Tesla's approach to providing capable robots is significantly more scalable for real-world use cases versus Boston Dynamics' approach, however impressive it may be. It's worth noting that Boston Dynamics were founded back in 1992, that's 30 years ago! Again, you'd expect rather more useful robots from them by now, rather than these terrifying headless robo-dogs, which are sold as security and surveillance robots. I've clearly watched too much Black Mirror, because these things freak me out. What do you think? Fancy a new pet? What's the planned production capacity for Optimus? Oh, just a few. Billion! Billion. Billion. Take a look at my earlier video, 8 billion Tesla bots, for a fun but terrifying look into the future. But yes, the likelihood of a one-to-one -one ratio of humans and robots does seem to be inevitable, as they will prove to be very, very useful companions at home and in the workplace. The convergence of artificial intelligence, advances in battery technology, computing power, robotics innovations, and a forward-thinking company willing to push the limits of what's achievable has allowed these disruptive technologies to come together at this opportune moment in time for Tesla. Furthermore, Tesla uses a first principles approach to everything, which is the practice of questioning every assumption you think you know about a given problem, then creating new solutions from scratch. Building robots from the ground up, weighing up every minute detail in the same approach that Tesla makes its vehicles, or the way SpaceX builds rockets, or even the way Elon runs X, formerly known as Twitter, whereby almost nobody thought it could be run by 20% of its previous workforce let alone already build out more features, massively limit the impact of bot accounts, and be on track to profitability already. If your previous experience of Twitter was negative, I would recommend signing up and giving X a go. Personally, I find it an incredible useful tool for non-biased news, and it's entertaining and informative. But that's just my experience. What's yours like? Let me know in the comments below. I'm genuinely interested. Anybody with a job that could be replaced by a robot, or AI for that matter, should maybe consider their options for the future. I'm just saying. In the same way that some checkout operatives have been replaced by self-serving systems, or bank tellers have disappeared thanks to actual banks disappearing from our high streets. Since the year 2000, at least 260,000 jobs have been lost in the US due to automation. This represents roughly 2% of the country's total manufacturing workforce, and the number only increases each year exponentially. Although some say automation is also predicted to create 58 million new jobs, I'm not entirely sure what they are to be honest, there can't be that many jobs that robots can't replace. Can there? But how could a robot labour revolution really help humanity if everyone's job is at stake? Well, robots could pay their taxes, maybe support universal basic income, and give humans a base level of support for housing, food and freedom. I think the vast majority of people would still want to do meaningful work and provide value to the world in some way, but we can't imagine what sort of jobs will be in our future. Just as 200 years ago, 90% of people worked on farms. Then farm automation took over almost all of these jobs, and today less than 10% of the population works on farms. What happened to the other 90% of ex-farmers? 
They went on to become manufacturers, tradesmen, builders, and eventually built aircrafts, websites and wind farms. 200 years ago, these sorts of jobs were unimaginable. The same might be true for imagining our future jobs. Whilst American union workers strike for 40% more pay and a four-day work week, which has already led Ford to laying off 600 employees, by the way, Tesla just happens to be building their own labour force. Let that sink in. I quite thought that Tesla would be the reason that Ford, General Motors, Stellantis and others go bankrupt. Not the very unions that are supposed to be on the side of keeping people's jobs. These companies are not profitable enough today to warrant pay increases, plus reducing working hours. This is madness. But anyway, Tesla is not only a once-in-a-lifetime company. Its potential is to dramatically change the course of humanity by not only giving us the most fun products money can buy, but also providing the most valuable solutions for scaling a global renewable energy system. A solution to safer autonomous travelling. A solution to just the labour market, which would involve millions if not billions of Tesla bots carrying out earthly, monotonous, boring, sometimes dangerous jobs. To the holy grail of Tesla bot tasks, Building the infrastructure necessary for humans to eventually colonise our neighbouring planet, Mars. And if you think I've totally lost the plot at this point, I ask you, if an Earth-destroying event was on the horizon, a meteorite, nuclear war, supervolcano, a catastrophic pandemic, all those sort of cheery things, after evolving for what, four and a half billion years on this planet, it would seem a terrible waste to have come this far, indeed maybe being the only planet in our universe to have given rise to human beings, for us to be wiped out in the blink of an eye. Might it be a good idea to back ourselves up somewhat on a planet B and even go further someday by becoming a spacefaring civilization? Or should we just meander on as a species without any kind of grander goals and just look forward to retiring someday? The bigger picture here is this isn't about you or me. It's about our species one day being amongst the stars and our light of consciousness living on far after we've gone. I really don't know how many people consider these things or think beyond themselves, but for some reason I do. And I'm hopeful that humanity flourishes long after I'm gone. But what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.